I'd like to um, thank everybody for joining us today. Again, I'm Molly Day here on staff with NSBA. And I think we've got a great program um, to share with you with Legal Shield. Um, some, of, some of the things they're going to talk about, uh, which are really important, and that's why you all are here. Um, first, you're going to hear, hear, well, actually, second, we're going to bump Claudia to the last part. So um, first, you're going to hear from Melissa Wilder, who is the Senior Network Vice President um, um, for Legal Shield. Um, she's a veteran of the U.S. Army, a former member of the Teamsters Union, and a business owner. She's been with Legal Shield since 1999 and in 2011 was awarded Home Based Business Champion of the Year from the SBA. More recently, Melissa was recognized as the 2020 International Trainer of the Year for Legal Shield. So um, you all are in very good hands. Uh, again, everybody is muted. If you have any questions, please put those into the Q&A platform. And uh, once we get uh, Claudia's tech issues figured out, we'll bring her back in at the end of the program. So uh, without further ado, Melissa, let's turn it on over to you. Well, perfect, Molly. Thank you so much for having us here today. We're so excited to, to have a partnership with you and to be able to uh, work with you in sharing the information uh, of our story, if you will, of what we've been able to do for 50 years for small businesses. And so, or nearly 50 years, I should say, for small businesses. And so I'd like to um, just say welcome to everybody that's joined us. It looks like we have a little over 80 people joined us here today and it's always exciting to have the opportunity to uh, say hello uh, to those in the business community. So we welcome you. And uh, Molly, as I'm talking, I'm gonna assume that you'll be moving the slides for me. Is that correct? That's right. Okay, perfect. So if you're looking at this slide, I have used this slide right here, this visual, this picture, uh, probably for the last 15 months or so. This looks like a traditional Main Street America. Any city, USA or Canada, regardless of where you're at, this represents what many of our small business communities may have looked like over the last year or so. Um, kind of empty. But at the same time, when you look at this picture, it also could look very peaceful, calm, and reserved. But I do have to tell you that it's not so peaceful, calm, and reserved for us as business owners. On the inside of these businesses, there is a whirlwind of questions and concerns and issues, navigating disruptive and challenging times, navigating new working environments, new working conditions, new legislation, new mandates, uh, new government relief efforts. There's just so many new things that are happening, unconventional, non-traditional, disruptive things. And as business owners, we really have to understand how to navigate through these challenging times and really to understand how do we come out as successful as we were before or if not more successful coming out of the, the challenges that we're dealing with, correct? And I do want you to understand that, you know, the health of our community, any city that you live in, the health of our community is tied directly to the health of our small business community. And it is so important for us if we have resources that can support one another to share those resources. It's important for us also to patronize the small businesses in our community as much and as often as, I, as we can. And that's why I'm excited to be here today, Molly, because Legal Shield, if you go to the next slide, Legal Shield, well, we've been in business for nearly 50 years. We were founded in 1972 to make equal access to the justice system a reality, not just a phrase, not just words, but really created to give us that access that we have the right to have, but unfortunately can't always find the funding to have. Currently today, we protect and empower over four and a half million lives all throughout the United States and Canada, and so proud to protect over 140,000 businesses with our services. And our members have access to a dedicated network of quality law firms, top quality law firms in all 50 states and all provinces of Canada. But how really can we afford to do this? How can we make what we were created to do a reality? And it's actually through what I call a shared economy process. See, every month our members pay a small monthly fee. And that small monthly fee, then what we do is we take a percentage of that and we prepay these law firms in advance for our members. 
So it's the collective buying power that allows us as a member when we call in for the law firm to say, how can we help you, not how can we bill you? Because excitingly enough, we've already prepaid them to serve our members. And we're very honored to be featured in Forbes and Yahoo Finance, uh, CNBC, Bloomberg, and most definitely with the BBB. So I just wanted to mention those things. I'm very proud of the company that I have been a part of for nearly 22 years. You can go ahead to the next slide. When you look at the legal needs of small business, you know, for over, or for nearly, I should say, the 50 years we've been in business, we've done a lot of surveys, a lot of studies, uh, white papers, and I'm sure things that, of which also the NSBA has also done to understand, you know, the business community and how, how can we, you know, come together, pull resources, share resources, provide the right resources to the clients that we're trying to obviously help. And, and one of the things that we found in our legal needs study for small businesses is that nearly 60% of small businesses who experienced at least a legal situation in the last two years reported not hiring an attorney to assist them, not because they didn't understand the value of having the access. They most definitely, we most definitely as business owners are wise enough to know that having an attorney can help us have a better outcome. But the reason why we didn't hire that qualified help was because of cost. It's just not always as small business budget friendly as we needed to be. And owners actually who did reach out because quite frankly, many times we do get backed into a corner. There's a more pressing or relevant issue where we understand we have to hire. We have no other choice but to hire counsel. Well, they reported spending anywhere between $7,600 to $10,000 or more handling those legal situations. And once again, that is something that, well, we need that money. We need that cash flow to operate our businesses. Go to the next slide. So when we're looking at the day-to-day -day types of traditional legal issues that business owners have, I want to discuss some of those things with you because quite frankly, you know, they can range from, and by the way, these are ranked in order of like the top 10 that was reported in our, our um, white paper, if you will. But the first is their debt collection. They're in random order, but they're on the top of the list. Is debt collection issues. You know, accounts receivable is a big deal for a business owner. Now, as a business owner, we probably know how to operate and navigate our business, but do we know how to navigate all the legalities of operating that business is really the question. And so when it comes to debt collection, how are we managing that? We need that, right? We need the cash flow, we need the income, but business owners unfortunately try to manage it in-house and it's always not the best recourse. Also contracts and document reviews, making sure we have solid sound contracts, uh, you know, that we're using either for ourselves and or with our clients and documents, you know, when they run across our desk, are these things we just need to be aware of, informed, is it just to put us in the know, or do we need to act on something, right? Understanding is important. Contractor supplier vendor disputes happen on a regular basis for us in the small business community. Internet security concerns and breaches, that's a really big one especially today, we'll elaborate a little on that. Product liability issues and concerns. Most definitely if you have employees, we have employee related or HR related matters on a daily basis. Also, we have tax questions and tax audits and the threats of consumer lawsuits unfortunately have skyrocketed, right? And so with that being said, we're wise enough to know as business owners if these are the things that we deal with on a more traditional basis, at some point we did seek out qualified legal help. So we understand the baseline of how to operate, what we need to do so we don't get ourselves into, a, into trouble, right? So we're not making the wrong decisions. But today is a new day. As a matter of fact, today I would like to call it a legal reset day for us. Today we're not navigating in traditional times. And even though we had questions, answer, questions asked and answers given in the past, we need to start asking new questions today to get new answers today. Because as I mentioned, we're navigating new times. And so Molly, if you push it just a few times, it'll pop up a few other things there on the screen for me. It'll say, you know, it is time for a legal reset, to revisit, to ask new questions, get new answers. As a matter of fact, our company, Legal Shield, we have some additional resources that 
uh, Molly is is uh, representative here with NSBA and Legal Shield. Well, she can gift the resources to you as a guest here today. And the first one is protect your business legal rights in times of uncertainty. Our provider law firms put this together so that we can give our business community ideas of some of the questions we should be asking. The next one is, um, there you go, what business owners should know about the economic rescue plan and employment law. Once again, these are just documents of some questions that maybe have popped into your mind as a business owner, but maybe it's just an unknown and we have not thought of it. And so it's important for us to kind of review um, what the legal counsel is saying we should be asking during these times. Go to the next one, please. So present day legal issues. We talked about traditional, but along with these new challenges and, and new uh, legislation, new working conditions, new working environments, we have, well, new legal issues. And those legal issues, as you just push it, Molly, it will move forward. But it starts with new employee related concerns, right? We've had remote working conditions, remote working environments. We've also, of course, had new working conditions within the workplace. Do we have to then update our employee handbooks, things of the, that nature? Do we need new job descriptions? Do we need to be concerned about anything of being in compliance with OSHA? You know, there's just so many things that happen to just change and we need to stay on top of those things. Go ahead to the next one, is then commercial leasing, right? While well, a lot of us, many of us have had issues with commercial leasing. Or what about the next one, which is mitigating our risk? We always wanna mitigate as much risk as possible and having counsel can help us do that. Financial concerns, funding and cash flow. You know, should I try to get a PPP or an EDIL and what do those things mean? And if I did get those, is it, you know, do I pay that money back? If I use it a certain way, do I get to keep that money? Not all of us really understand how the economic rescue plan worked or works for us, okay? Also, I mentioned there's new legislation for us to be concerned about. And along with new legislation comes new policies and procedures. As a matter of fact, policies and procedures we probably never thought of before, like pandemic policies and procedures. And most definitely with COVID-19 came a lot of new scams. And with those scams, it could have been stimulus assistance, uh, check scams, and most definitely as a small business owner, we should be concerned about that unemployment fraud that also skyrocketed. And do we have any responsibility or how do we actually report fraud when it comes our way. And then lastly on this list, and it's not the last thing, but just for this list for this conversation is cybercrime. Since March of 2020 to March of 2021, cyber attacks were up 400% for small businesses. That is alarming. So it's really important for us to know that, you know, we're dealing with these things, but it's also important for us to know how can we how can we have a resource? How can we actually have the access we need, but keep it within our small business budget? As a matter of fact, we have some real live examples on the next slide, Molly, that you know, just with over the last uh, couple months, these have been some of the things that our members have said that they've used our type of service for because they don't have to check their checkbook before they check their business legal rights with Legal Shield. So I'll just, you can just pop those up. These were just for some illustrations, if you will. Like if you're signing or renewing um, your business commercial lease agreement, or maybe assistance in collecting debt, right, from a customer, having questions pertaining to a W-2 versus a 1099, and what does that look like for me? Am I operating the right way? Um, using contracts that you have not had reviewed um, most recently, right, to make sure that they're timely for today and doing what you needed to do to protect your business interests. Also, maybe wanting to take proper legal steps in hiring and disciplining or letting an employee go. Uh, you're thinking about protecting your intellectual property or you need a, a, a copyright or a trademark or a patent. A customer uh, maybe um, owes you money and filing bankruptcy and how does that work for you, right? Because a lot of people have had a lot of financially challenging times. And so if this happens, can you still get the debt that's owed to you if they file bankruptcy? Or you need to create a new employee handbook or creditors are taking action against you because of maybe an ex-partner's debt. Those are some of the things that most recently our members have used this for. 
So Molly, if you want to move to the next slide for me. So legal shield, I like to say that we've taken the complicated, time-consuming, very expensive legal system, and we've made it simple, easy, and affordable. How have we done that? Well, we've made it simple and easy because quite frankly, as you see on this visual here, we actually put an app on your mobile device. And as a business owner, as a member of Legal Shield, wherever you have access to your phone, you have access to your firm. Anytime you ever have a question, concern, or issue, something in your gut says, hmm, this doesn't feel right, or something in your mind is saying, this doesn't make sense, or if something's just keeping you up at night, you simply tap the app and say, I need advice. Molly, I love this because there's no more need for stressing, guessing, finger cross, Google decisions, or sleepless nights again. Just tap the app. And what I love, I actually, what I do is I, I come in my office and I set my cell phone on my desk and it looks like this on a, on a stand. And I, I kind of call this my intercom to my legal system, right? It's like having my law firm be an intercom in my business. And so when I'm concerned about anything, I just simply tap the app, which I say is the intercom, and within four business hours, I know I'm going to have my attorney on the phone giving me solid legal advice. If something crosses my desk, I tap the app. I'm not sure what this is or what this means. What should I do with it? I have collection issues. I tap the app. I'm not sure exactly um, how to manage this. They actually assist me with that. I have contracts I haven't had reviewed in a while. I tap the app. I get it over to the firm. They call me back and talk to me about, is it timely for today? Or do I need to update or revise what I'm working with today? The simplicity, I don't have to even leave my seat. I like to say respectfully, I don't have to take my butt out of my seat to have access to my firm. I simply tap the app. And how do we make it affordable? Well, we make it affordable because of our collective buying power that I spoke about a few minutes ago. And that is so, so important to us today. If it's not small business budget friendly, we will not use it as much as we need to use it on a proactive, preventive, day-to-day -day basis. So go to the next slide, Molly. What, what, what I'm really excited about is Legal Shield noticed in 2020 that our clients started to really understand the power of the access. And we were able to empower more businesses as well as utilize the business on a more, our, our services on a more frequent basis. So in 2021, we updated our portfolio of offerings to small businesses to meet a stronger need of the business community as well as a larger pool of the small business community. And we now today can tailor fit small business plans very specific to any size business need and most definitely their small business budget. So I want to share with you exactly how the plans work, if that's okay. So if you go to the next slide, Molly, talking about choosing a plan that's right for you. This is an illustration of what we call our Essentials Plus and Pro. Now I'm just going to go to our Pro plan because it's our most comprehensive plan. And, you know, if that's a plan that is too comprehensive for you as a business owner or, quite frankly, not within your budget, that's fine. We can always work around that, obviously, with the other plan. But when we look at this Small Business Pro plan, it runs, as you can see here, $169 a month. Now, we also have something called trial defense for business because, quite frankly, the threats of consumer lawsuits are on a rise. And so having something in the event of being sued is critical prepaid for within a plan. And so that's actually $14.95. So that would come out to $183.95 a month. Now, I'm doing this because I want you to understand that that may, maybe will equal about 30 minutes of a business attorney's time. But as a business owner, you have access and empowerment for an entire month. As a matter of fact, if you break it down to how much per hour would this cost me, because the, law, the legal system is usually by the hour, it's about $1.06 an hour for a full 40-hour work week. So that's what I'm going to actually use in our illustration today. For $1.06 an hour, I have my law firm basically on my intercom sitting right here at my desk. And with this plan, I not only can use this, but if I have a business partner, if I have somebody that manages my employees, manages my office, manages my business, I can have up to five authorized users hitting that app all at the same time, asking questions to the law firm. And it's unlimited advice and consultation. So never guess, never stress, tap the app. 
the law firm will also write up to 40 letters or make 40 phone calls per year on behalf of my business to help me handle those disputes and issues that are not always easy for me as a business owner to manage, nor do I know what the law says to give me the power to act. And having the law firm write what I call motivational letters on their law firm letterhead on my behalf as a business owner motivates people to treat me the way that they should treat me and respect me as a business owner. Also, those contracts and documents. We can review up to 40 contracts and documents at 25 pages at length at no additional cost. That's all included in this dollar six an hour. As well as if I want collection letters because, well, maybe somebody's not paying me according to my terms or timely. Up to 15 collection letters a month. And guess what? The law firm keeps zero of what's collected. That 100% of that goes back to our small business clients. If we want a trademark or copyright, the legal work of the trademarks or copyrights are included once a year. If I need an employee handbook uh, drafted, it's a flat fee, a significant discounted rate of $500. Or if I need a custom contract drafted, a flat fee of $250 for a 25-page document. If I had that threat of consumer lawsuits or audits, well, I have 50 hours of a tax attorney's time in the event of my business taxes being audited. And Molly, if you hit the next slide, and included in that dollar six an hour is our trial defense for business, which gives you as a business owner 100 hours of defense in the event of your business being sued. It's our most comprehensive plan for a dollar six an hour. To me as a business owner, respectfully, I'm like, this is a no brainer. I need to have my law firm in my business helping me with like my day-to-day -day questions, concerns, and issues. Now, remember, as my business partner on here, Claudia is on here, she can get with you or one of us can get with you also, and we can sit with you and really evaluate really where you're at and what's gonna fit you in your business and your budget the most. Um, but you also may be like some others that I've dealt with over the last six to eight months. They're startup businesses. And if you go to the next one, Molly, we have something called our home business supplement. Now, don't let the term home fool you. It's actually uh, really could be a storefront business. But if you're an independent business owner with no employees and no partner outside of your spouse, you could be eligible for what we call our family and business plus supplement. For as little as $37.90 a month, you also could have access to the firm, simple tap of the app, to be asking all your business related questions and getting advice. They also will write letters and make phone calls, review your contracts and documents, help you if you're audited by the IRS for your Schedule E and C filings. And these are nationwide services, by the way. So was that illustration for that dollar six an hour. So if you have business interests outside your state or outside your province, we still can assist helping our small business clients with those business interests as well. Now that's for the, the family, I mean, sorry, for the business coverage, but also including that 3790 is the ability to protect your family. So Molly, if you hit it one more time, you're gonna see here that we cover your family's legal needs by giving you unlimited advice on your personal matters, reviewing personal contracts and documents, also writing letters and making phone calls on behalf of your personal issues. And one of the biggest things I think for me in this plan is the fact that your estate planning is included. We do your wills, your living wills, your healthcare directives, your financial power of attorneys, all included, no additional cost and more. And then the next plan I want to talk to you about is our ID shield for business. I'm sorry, ID shield rather for personal. I'll get into business in a minute. Because many of our small business clients not only protect their business and their family, but they want to protect their identity. And we have a most, the most comprehensive, matter of fact, ranked number one um, by Forbes Advisor. And that is, it starts with, once again, an app, but we monitor your digital DNA. Anything and everything that matters to you uh, in terms of your name, your address, date of birth, and social, but also your driver's license, your medical insurance information, your online and social media activity and information, also your financials, not only retail and credit cards and banking, but what about your retirement funds and things of that nature? We monitor you daily, and if activity takes place, we alert our members. If there's activity there, hey, if you caused it, no worries, but if not, 
You simply tap an app again, but this time you're connected to private licensed investigators who, by the way, do whatever it takes for as long as it takes to get our members back to pre theft status. You focus on your business matters. You focus on life. The fraud investigators focus on the crime of identity theft. And there's a built-in protection plan in the event of out-of-pocket expenses. Now, that's not all we have to offer. We also have something called a business plus supplement. Not only as a business owner do I need to have legal protection. Claudia, Molly, you can go to the next one. But sometimes, quite frankly, I need business consultants. Sometimes I need to know what's the best way for me to get customer acquisition and customer retention. What's the best way for me to market or advertise my business and use my marketing dollars appropriately. I need a business plan strategy. I need to be able to talk to somebody about licensing that I might need to require, be required to hold, or maybe I just need HR consulting advice, not HR legal advice. So our Business Plus Supplement enhances our ability not only now to have a legal plan to protect us, to protect our legal interests, but business consultants to help us also grow our business. This also includes the ability to have some business-related tools like a, a CRM and some business legal forms and even a website with e-commerce integration. And then lastly, what I'd like to talk about, Molly, as we're wrapping this up is we just launched ID Shield for Business. ID Shield for Business, I'm excited to say, is really, I think, forward thinking of this company to add because, quite frankly, cybercrime is on a rise. And if you go to the next slide, Molly, we could talk about some of the statistics. I won't bore you. I already mentioned that cyber crimes or cyber attack is up 400%. And really, 76% of those crimes were on small business, on businesses like yours and mine. Why? Because we're easy prey. And so what are we doing to be proactive? What are we doing to be diligent in safeguarding and doing everything we can in safeguarding the data we hold? And if you look at the next slide, we help with ID Shield by identifying, protecting, detecting, responding, and recovering in the event of a cyber crime attack. We do the front end. We actually set you up. Once you become a member, we actually do vulnerability scans. I like to say that what we're scanning your network for is open doors and open windows to your network. We're looking to see if there's actually any malware placed within your network, any viruses, any misconfigurations of your security settings. Once we actually do the scan, if there's actually vulnerabilities, our members have access. The small business member who may not have a technical support team or an IT team, they have remote technical support uh, assistance where they will go in and remediate. They'll close the windows, close the doors, remove the viruses, remove the malware, patch the vulnerabilities, as well as shut all those doors, as I mentioned, for our members. We want to make sure not only do we find the issues, then we fix the issues with our remote technical support team. But if you do fall victim of a cyber crime, then once again, we've got your back because we have cybersecurity specialists an emergency hotline where immediately they start to kick in. What, we, what are we gonna do to retrieve the information, obviously, to help with navigating through the ransomware, help navigating if there is a ransomware, right? Obviously, start removing the malware to obviously retrieve the data. Is there any PR or legal issues that need to be managed? Who are gonna pay for all these experts? Well, we're gonna pay it right there through our plan because we have cyber liability protection plan built in to pay for those cyber security experts to work on behalf of your business. So in wrapping this up, you know, what we would like to do is number one, thank you for allowing us to be here. But one of us would like to talk to you if you're interested, really in understanding your business, the operation of your business and how we can help you solve problems or navigate right day to day to make sure you're making wise business decisions and keeping it within your business budget. So if you go to the next slide, Molly, just in recapping, it could be our Small Business Essentials Plus or Pro plans. It could actually also be that you're interested in our, our business consultants and the trial defense for business, most definitely the ID Shield for business. Or you may also say, you know, Melissa, on the next slide, Molly, that you're interested in our family and also ID Shield for your family. Or you may be a startup entrepreneur, entrepreneur business where that family and business supplement together is perfect for you. And if you have employees, well, excitingly enough, 
We also offer these services as a voluntary employee benefit at no cost to you as a business owner. But we know that it's important today for us to give as many benefits or perks to our employees to keep them with us for as long as we can, because unfortunately it's challenging to employ today. So going to the last slide, I thank you again for your time. I know this was a lot of information in a short period of time, but it's such a joy, Molly, to be here with the NSBA and being able to share with your members, with your friends, who we are and what we do. And hopefully they've been educated. So, you know, if they see value, we'd love to serve them. If not, I feel privileged to know they got the information and heard the story of Legal Shield. So thank you so much, Molly. Well, thanks for sharing some time with us today. I, th I think it was some really great information, uh, Melissa. So we really appreciate your time. I, I know that we had some technical issues, but hopefully I think we've got uh, Claudia on the line to join us now. Um, and just a little, um, you know, background uh, in terms of who Claudia is and why she's important for you to hear from. Um, you know, Claudia has been with uh, an SBA and, you know, an active member in our leadership council for some time. Um, but beyond that, she, she's really the primary contact that you'd be dealing with uh, through, through Legal Shield, um, and is happy to answer any of your questions. So um, <clears throat> I, I want to brag a little bit about Claudia because she's, she's really such a neat person. And if you haven't been to one of our events yet and had an opportunity to meet with her or been on another webinar with her, she's, she's really just a neat person. Um, she used to be general care. She is general counsel, excuse me, for the Employee Benefits Legal Solutions, um, a, a firm that she started with her daughters. Uh, before that, she was in the U.S. Army JAG Corps. Um, she's a member of the New York State Bar, the National Bar Association, and the Supreme Court Bar. So, um, uh, you know, that, that makes me feel awfully happy that the NSB Leadership Council is among those very um, uh, highly esteemed organizations to which which Claudia um, belongs. So uh, with that, Claudia, do you want to give it a test and see if we've got the tech issues figured out? Hey, Molly, can you hear me? We can hear you. Awesome, awesome. So I'm not even going to fool with the camera. <laughs> just going to go with the vocal. So I am a terrible representation of government because my 20-year background has been in government service and we still use fax machines. So... <laughs> This, uh, this new technology can be a bit of a challenge, but I'm, I'm so uh, excited about this partnership with the NSBA and Legal Shield. And once I got uh, started with the NSBA, having been uh, part of Legal Shield for a couple of years now, I immediately saw, you know, that I needed to bring these two entities together because um, both are titans in, in their own right as organizations, but both uh, organizations are very passionate about uh, small business owners and so I'm really excited about what we can do to um, just bring the resources that Legal Shield has available to the NSBA membership. I'm happy to serve as the primary point of contact but I want you guys to know that we have a team of about 10 to 12 people who will be uh, involved in this partnership so you will never you know, be without, um, you'll never be without the ability to get someone who, who can um, answer your question. And I was excited and um, honored to have Miss Melissa to come on board to do our presentation. Uh, she was rec um, recognized as the top trainer in Legal Shield last year. And in my opinion, she is uh, our very best trainer so you guys are not you know you're getting the best of the best that legal shield has to offer so uh, we're going to have a website up um, where you can go through the information again uh, as melissa said it was a lot of information in a short period of time but we value the um, time of our business owners we know that you all have a lot to do we appreciate you coming on and um, taking a look at the information that we had to present Please reach out to me if you have any questions. I saw some questions in the chat. I think we were able to answer most of them just through the, um, as the presentation progressed, but I think one or two that may not have been addressed. Uh, I saw a couple questions about whether the um, plans could be changed mid-year and that's absolutely correct. We don't have any, any um, time period where you have to hold a plan for we are cognizant of the fact that, you know, things change in business. And so we are flexible in allowing you to upgrade or downgrade as uh, the needs of your business changes. 
Uh, there was a question about sole proprietorship. I think that was addressed that um, you didn't have the family membership and then add the home-based business or the business supplement um, for a smaller business with no uh, employees. So if there's anything um, that I didn't see that um, is an outstanding question, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, the email address I'll, I'll uh, put in the chat, uh, but I'll say it here too. It's uh, EBLS, Employee Benefit Legal Solutions. So it's EBLS, Legal Benefits at gmail.com. Um, um, Lillian, you said your question wasn't answered. Maybe I missed it. If it's if it's a, a particular uh, question, maybe that's unique to you, please reach out to me and, and we can address that. I was just addressing more general questions. We okay. did get, um, I think there's a question that Melissa would like to answer in terms of the, the vulnerability scan. Okay. Melissa, do you want to respond to that? Yeah, absolutely. So what we do with the vulnerability scans, right, as we scan, the member gets the report right in their portal so they can see exactly all the vulnerabilities. The remote technical support team then will discuss with them exactly what those vulnerabilities are. There are a few that we do on our own. Maybe we need to update our version of software or things of that nature. However, it's something that they need to do. They're going to remotely go in. They're going to fix the vulnerabilities. And at that point, then they're going to rescan. Because what they're rescanning for at that time, Molly, is to ensure that we actually fixed everything that we had a risk of. Okay, so we actually get to house those and keep those in, obviously, order of how they've been ran. And there was another question in regards to ransomware. Do we assist with that? Absolutely. Our experts will help negotiate that ransomware. Um, and also our cyber liability insurance plan actually has the plan built in to pay ransomware for the small business owner. So of course there's terms uh, of what we pay out on different levels, but once again, we can discuss that with you when one of our uh, teammates visit with you personally about the plans. But really excited to see the great questions and comments that are coming in uh, through the chat and through the Q&A. Absolutely. So hopefully that answers the question, Molly. Thanks, Melissa. There is another question from Sylvia here. She asks if um, any of your attorneys have experience with ROBS. Claudia, I'm going to defer to you because honestly, I don't know what ROBS means. Neither do I. <laughs> so maybe, maybe, uh, yeah. So maybe the the uh, person that's asking that question could reach out to to you, Claudia, and we can discuss what that means. And we'll definitely be able to to be able to assist them, Molly, for sure. Yeah, great. Perfect. Well, I think we've got, uh, I think you've responded to most of the questions here. Uh, we are tracking all of the chat as well as all of the Q&A. And if there's anything we didn't get to, we'll be sure to reach out to you and, and get those answers for you. Um, you know, with that, I know everybody's busy. So we'll, we'll give you back five minutes from what we had initially planned. Uh, like I said, we will be sending out the, um, uh, both the video and the slides to everybody uh, later today. So thank you very much for joining us. And uh, Melissa, thank you so much for your expertise. It was uh, great to spend some time with you. And Claudia, as always, it's lovely to hear from you as well. Um, any thank final you. comments before we say goodbye? No, for me, I, I absolutely just look forward to uh, assisting and uh, getting everyone connected, getting questions answered. I uh, thank again, Ms. Uh, Melissa, for her time and, and her phenomenal presentation. And thank you, Molly, for all that you do uh, for all of us at the NSBA. I appreciate you guys. I just want to say uh, one of the things that I've already mentioned, and just to reiterate it, Molly, and that is um, the health of our communities is tied to the health of our small business community. So if you have resources for the business community, please get out and do some community outreach and share those resources with the community, right? It's good to know our community. It's good to have relationships in our community, share those resources. And most definitely, it's amazing that many of us don't even know the business community. So it's good to obviously make those friends, as I mentioned. So get out there and do that. And also remember to patronize these small businesses in our communities because you know what, they need us. So I'll leave it there, Molly. Great. Well, thanks so much, Melissa and Claudia and everybody. Uh, thanks for joining us and have a great afternoon. Bye. You too. Bye.